Guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fix awkward cuts, extend shots to match your pacing, and I'm also gonna show you how to extend audio seamlessly with the built-in Generative Extend AI tool in Premiere Pro. So let's say I'm working on a quick cycling ad, and right now my establishing shot isn't long enough. It just cuts off before the beat drop, which leaves this awkward blank moment in the timeline. Instead of hunting for another clip and slowing it down and naturally, I'm just gonna use Generative Extend. I'll select Tool from the toolbar and click the end of my establishing shot and drag it out to fill the gap. Premiere Pro's AI will analyze the motion, textures, and rhythm of the original shot and then generate new frames to extend it seamlessly. You'll notice a slightly darker section appear on the clip. That's the AI generated extension, clearly labeled so you know exactly what part was added. Now, if you don't see the Generative Extend tool in your toolbar, make sure you've updated Premiere Pro to the latest version through the Creative Cloud app. Okay, on to use case two, extending sound effects and ambience. In this case, I have a nature ambience track and helicopter sound effects in my timeline but both end a little too soon, cutting off the vibe before the visuals do. Instead of trying to loop or fade them manually, I'm gonna use Generative Extend. Just like with video, I'll select the sound clip and grab the Generative Extend tool from the toolbar and then drag out the end of the audio. Premiere Pro then uses AI to analyze the tone and texture of the sound, then seamlessly extend it. This is like the Remix tool, but on steroids. And just a quick heads up, your audio clip needs to be at least two seconds long for Generative Extend to work. And right now it doesn't support music or instrumental tracks. It works best with just sound effects, ambience, and environmental audio. Case three, holding emotional reactions. Whether it's in an interview, a vlog, or performance, sometimes a great expression gets just cut short. In my timeline, I've got this shot of someone mid celebration but it ends just too soon. Instead of freezing the frame and then reusing footage, I'll grab the Generative Extend tool and stretch it out just enough to complete the moment naturally. Okay, so case four, fixing shaky footage. We're getting rid of unwanted camera shake at the end of a shot. I'll first trim off the shaky part at the end. Then I'll select the Generative Extend tool and then extend the clean portion of the clip to fill in that missing moment. Just like that, I'll get a smooth ending without the distraction of camera movement. From fixing awkward shots to enhancing your pacing and audio, it isn't just smart, it's actually practical for everyday editing. So let me know which use case you're the most excited about.